Good kitten internet, so this is my fourth time at trying to start this recording. Apparently my DOSBox setup is a little funky right now. Probably because I'm having to bounce between full screen and my dead mode. Anyway, if you notice that this is episode series run three and not two, I actually did record a series run two. It lasted one episode and went really, really poorly. So what I did was that I read the dang manual. So now I actually know what's going on, and the game specifically tells you that if you are a new to the expansion, so new to Caster of Magic, but an experienced Master of Magic player, you should start on the normal difficulty and not unfair. The reason being is that the AI is a lot better at the game than before, not just a little better. Um... Also, a lot of the decisions in the game are actually um, intentional. So, <clears throat> for instance, in the first run, I had noticed that all but one uh, civilization, uh, all but one wizard were Mirren, and that's actually intentional. Whatever you choose, whether you're going to be on Arcanus or Mirror, you will always have all but one AI join you on that area, and then one AI join, uh, do the opposite era. Uh, area. Plane. There we go. Words. Words are hard. So, that was actually intentional in designed in the game. I don't necessarily agree with that design. It's not the way the game was supposed to be in my mind. So, uh, my second game, I didn't start in Mirror, and was crowded out almost immediately. And the reason why I was crowded out almost immediately is that I was setting the difficulty to fair. And one of the things that does is incentivizes the AI to start sprawling. So there's a concept for Civilization 1 and Civilization 2 called, and Alpha Centauri called ICS, or Infinite City Sprawl. The idea is that at the beginning of the game, all you should do is pump out cities as fast as you can and just blanket everything. And the concept is basically any city is better than no city. Even if you have massive penalties to things for having so many cities, any city is better than no city. In Master of Magic, there are no penalties. Um, you may have some unrest issues with certain conquered nations, but if they're your own cities or a city of a uh, species that is perfectly fine with you being their overlord, nothing bad happens. This is a problem for my standard Master of Magic strategy. It actually fits better with my Alpha Centauri strategies of I use ICS constantly and just try to sprawl everywhere. And I was not expecting that. That's part of the reason why you noticed in the last run that I uploaded that I was reacting very strangely to having an AI build right next to me so often. Uh, also, wizard pacts have changed slightly. You need to make sure that you are not within their territory during a wizard pact. And as long as you do that, the AI will actually not break pact. This is a new feature to Master of Magic, because the original base game of Master of Magic, the AI will break pact because it's Tuesday. The AI will break pact because the wind happens to be blowing in the wrong direction that day. It will break pact for any reason whatsoever. That is not the case in the expansion. So I need to unlearn a lot of the things that I know about Master of Magic and relearn. And as a result, I'm going to start dropping difficulty and making things easier on myself so I can actually learn and not just want to rage quit. Um, I'm still going to keep the power minerals and climate the same by default. Uh, land size is something that they also mentioned, that the land size has a much higher impact on the game than normal. Uh, the reason being is that the AI is a lot more expansionistic in general. So setting the land size to something that's not super huge will actually help most strategies. Um, I am still going to keep the large though because I tend to prefer larger land sizes in games like this. Uh, yeah, there's a lot going on. I've dropped the number of opponents. Um, I'm actually wanting at three, not two. Just so there's a little bit more space and fewer people that are trying to fight me, bro. Uh, as usual, going with a custom. Actually, before I go with custom, I want to look at what everybody else has by default. Because these have actually changed. 
That's six of each type of book. Yeah, you'll notice that these picks are not quite the same as they were when we were looking at the first run for like, for instance, Jafar actually had extra stuff. That's because fair gives the AI advantages that I didn't realize, and that's a problem. So we're going to go with custom. Um, what portrait do I want to use this time? I'll go with Rajak. Okay. So, uh, other things that I did in my reading. So, alchemy is a good plan if you're going to be using a lot of um, species-based units. Uh, so, non-fantastical units. Things that you build. Uh, specifically, you need to call out the fact that it's non-barbarian cities. That is not the case in Master of Magic original base. I should just use stick to a term, shouldn't I? Base Master of Magic. Base Master of Magic, if you took the alchemical perk... Barbarians now have magical weapons when they're not actually supposed to. Um, so that's something that's good to know. Um, Famous actually does almost the exact same thing that it does in base game. The main difference is how heroes work. So in base game, by taking Famous, I could recruit a hero on turn two of the game. Uh, recruitment of heroes is random, and it is in both base and... Uh, Caster of Magic. But in Caster of Magic, you cannot recruit heroes for the first N turns. I think N was 10. Or 12. Yeah, I think it was 12 turns. Because each turn's a month, and I think it was the first year that you can't. Anyway, that means that Famous isn't quite as stupid levels of overpowered as it was in Base Master of Magic. That's not to say it's not useful, it's just not as overpowered. Um, Charismatic is more important, even though its abilities haven't actually changed at all. The reason being that diplomacy actually means more. The money thing for heroes actually means less, just because you tend to have more money in the expansion, according to the um, manual, at least. Uh, the abilities that I thought were new, not all of them are. They're just renamed and are mergers. So, for instance, Rune Master... Rune Master is a combination of abilities from original Master of Magic. Uh, same as Cult Leader. I'm oh, sorry, it's uh, Cult Leader and Specialist that are the combinations, I think. Maybe it was... Anyway, Cult Leader is definitely a merger of two different abilities at once. Uh, and Cult Leader is not a great ability unless if you're planning on uh, the... Planning on using a faction who primarily gets mana through religious buildings instead of through uh, uh, magic buildings, which I normally do not. I normally don't play as the high men who are the ones that get next to nothing in regular magic, but all of the religious stuff. Spellweaver is an addition. Astrologist, that's the other one. That's not the addition. So, right now, Astrologist is still addition. It was... It's the one that replaced Node once. Is that actually Ringmaster? No, it is Astrologer. So, in base game, there was... Um, Four different, all right, three different node mastery ones. One for nature nodes, one for sorcery nodes, one for chaos nodes. And there were separate picks, each requiring one pick in order to use. This just combines all of them together. So astrologer is actually a little bit better. Also, you don't get counter effects from nodes, which the individual ones, you had to pick one. So congratulations, you don't get countered for chaos magic. The requirement for getting that one was having chaos books, so your own magic. That wouldn't get countered to begin with. So yeah, a lot of these have changed. Uh, Guardian is not a change, and Guardian is actually something that needs to be kept in mind. Because Guardian is really powerful, and it's not obvious. Uh, the manual wanted to insist upon that. What I may end up doing is taking Artificer, 
Oh yeah, I should decide on my books. So in the run that I didn't upload, I ended up taking Nature. Nature was a lot more interesting, at least. And they rebalanced the game and changed some of the spells, which threw me off. Uh, nature used to be the weakest of the schools, and specifically its focus was more on the, um, hey, look, we can do a little bit of everything, but not very well basis. Whereas now it's actually focused more on, I can summon things, I can change things, change the world. Um, and also I can counter chaos really easily. So what I think I'm actually going to do, I don't want to go with death. Life magic is focused on buffs, which means that it's very good for factions that are going to be using a lot of non-fantastical units. There's very little in the way of summons in life. Chaos is useful for I blast you in the face with a fireball. Just fireball. Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. So I think I am going to take... I'm going to go back with life and Marin. Oh, Marin. There we go. Um... The difference is going to be my other one. I'm thinking maybe alchemy. Although, if I'm starting a mirror, I don't really need alchemy and their ability to give me magic weapons immediately. Maybe tactician? So Tactician is basically, hey, look, everybody has more defense, which is really nice for high unit enemies. Um, I keep going back and forth as whether I want to be Mirren or not, because I really don't like the idea of that many people crammed on Mirror. You know what? No, I'm not going to be Mirren this time. I'm going to go with probably Halflings, because that's my go-to for ones, um, races. This gives me a lot of money. Money is nice. It's not everything, though. If I was death or chaos or nature, or re really life is the worst one of these. Um, so omniscient basically is the way that you can do a rainbow strategy. So like, for instance, I could do that. Oh, that. This wouldn't actually be the worst thing in the world. And it is in base Master of Magic. Uh, the only advantage you get for trying to go with a rainbow strategy, you can't normally do life and death, but whatever, uh, is that you can trade spells with pretty much anybody. Uh, that's actually changed. You have to have a certain number of books to be able to trade magic. I think it's four for being able to trade anything. Three for certain types of spells, two for common spells, that type of thing. Yeah, I think it's two for common, three for uncommon, four for rare. Or it might be one for common, two for uncommon, three for rare, four for very rare. Something like that. Anyway, this is not a terrible plan anymore, whereas it absolutely was before. I'm not doing this for reference. It's more of a... That would give me a nice bonus to everything, because that would give me plus 16% research... Plus 2 maximum population, plus 16% power, plus 16% produ production, plus more than 16% money. Um, so if I'm going with halflings, going with warlord is not a bad idea, although warlord and tactician are mutually exclusive. I like going with... I could be a specialist. Nah, I don't want to be a specialist. Um, there was something I specifically saw that I wanted to try. What was it? Oh, 
bonk me. Bonk me, Warlord. Bonk me, Tactician. Alchemy, Warlord, and nine books. Okay. So these are my starting spells, and these are the spells that are going to be available in my spell book at the start. That's actually what this is indicating. Um, so for these spells... And those are actually really good options. I like the idea of having Guardian Spirit early on, because I actually am going to be able to take on nodes now. Not just randomly. Heroism's really nice for what we need right now, too. So I think what this actually does is that it will make you elite and then ultra elite because of Warlord. Gonna go with just cause. And then for ones that I can research quickly. Oops. Can I no, okay, yeah. Didn't think so, but wanted to check. True sight early on is gonna be a good idea. And so is Stream of Life. Because Stream of Life is really nice to have. Divine Order, what does that do? Hmm. Well, we'll go with that. Okay, we are going with Halflings. Halflings give you extra food. So Halfling cities grow relatively fast, not because they have faster growth rate, but just because you have gobs and gobs of food, and you never really need to worry about running out of food. Also, in this case, they gain extra research. This is something that's new to the game, and the reason why is that food is less important. So it used to be that every unit required one unit of food. Basic units. The ones that don't require any food are fantastical units of some variety. And that's the way it shows up in the display. What it's actually doing is that it's costing half of a food. So, as a result, halflings get a bonus. Also, halflings don't produce all that much in the way of unrest for conquering other nations. So if I'm gonna go on a conquering spree, which is on what I'm planning on doing, halflings are a really good option. I'm going back to purple. All right, let's try this again, shall we? How are you? Hopefully this video gets uploaded. Um. <coughs> I ended up just getting really frustrated last night at um, the second run, and it was only one video long. And yes, I am wearing the same shirt, by the way. Nothing says love like a cat hug. Uh, mostly because I felt like it. And I haven't taken a shower since then, anyway. I'm trying to take my showers in the afternoons now. Okay. So yes, every faction does start with the two extra settlers. Um, these swords folk are terrible, but I'm going to be using them for scouting. I have five bonus food, so no. Um, so I want to try to get to Fighter's Guild fast, because Slingers are awesome. Uh, in order to get to Fighter's Guild, I need increased production. Production can come from both a Forester's Guild and also a Miner's Guild. Um, Miner's Guilds are cheaper than Forester's Guild, although they have more monetary maintenance, and they increase uh, bonuses for more. But Forager's Guild also increases food. I'm going to go with a Miner's Guild for now, because I do actually have a mountain. Yeah, that'll be all I'll tweak for now. 
Research. Uh, uh -huh. Starfires. So I need to be very careful about reading the research on things because they don't match what I'm used to. Cockatrices, no. Cockatrices fly. That's going to be a problem. Guardian spirit. One guardian spirit. I might be able to take that on. I don't think I can, but it's good to know. Also, there are no more goody huts. There are no more ruins that have nothing in them. I definitely ensured that last time. That's unfortunate. But apparently it's for balance reasons, because otherwise the AIs would just constantly cake them. Apparently. So it's like, okay, fine, I guess. Uh, let's take a look at populations. Do I have any good spots yet? This is too close? Oh, um, yeah, it actually is too close. Okay. So, no, I don't yet. Good to know. What are you? I just looked at you. Herp derp. Oh, uh, movement speed. So, everything moves faster. Uh, these units normally only have one movement speed, and now they have two. Two is generally the minimum. There's a couple of units, I think, that have one. And... Generally, everything has an extra movement. That's the way that this is working. So that's part of the reason why everything was moving really fast, and I was seeing 12, 10. Ugh. Not so great. Um, part of the reason why I was seeing AIs have settlers so far away from their home is because settlers are moving faster, too. Congratulations on your Miner's Guild. I saw that money thing, so let's go ahead and build a marketplace now. War bears. Let's go ahead and save over maybe. Try the guardian spirit. The reason why we might be able to take it is because we actually have... Magic weapons. Hooray! We found 100 mana crystals. Nice. Alright, we are losing money, which sucks, but that should be fine for now. Now we're losing two money. And let me guess, it's because you're... Yep. So, if we go to the tax collector and drop this down, we will be losing the same amount of money. But now we actually have a productive member of society. I mean, um, worker. I don't think I can take on multiple war bears with an injured unit like that. Okay, war bears move three now. Same with their boars, which are just summoned war bears. So I'm going to move back one. My skill's down to four, so I can't do much. Yeah, nope. Maybe if I was uninjured, that might have gone better, but... How's this area looking? Ugh. It's a 14. 14 not the worst, and it's probably better than me just sitting around. Oh, 16. I'm building there. Also has the benefit of being a canal. Okay, now that I have money again... Let's go ahead and start queuing up that Fighter's Guild. This is 19 over here, although that's going to share territory with... Pelador. I should probably be less picky about these things. It bothers me, though. Alright, 
There's City One. And yes, having the um, swordsman in the outpost is intentional. Uh, the reason for that was because otherwise AIs were just constantly losing cities. Also war bears. Two war bears. Yeah, it's time to see if my theory is right. Yep, Ultra Elite. I was correct. Success! 140 mana crystals and lost a unit. Eh, we'll go for it. It'll be fine. Oh, so the animal, the familiar of your wizard, is based off of your school of magic. So the white dove chicken thing is because I'm using life. I think death actually has a kitty. Uh, so let's see. Enchant item. Heavenly light. I mean, stream of life is nice, but that's 92 turns at my current craptacular research. Go with enchant item. Did I already check to see what this was? No. I also don't know what that is. A few earth elementals I definitely can't take with one unit. Troll. You are a few chaos spawns. No. What's in you? Nagas. Nagas are at least possible for me to fight. I have four extra food. Drop that. Give me an extra turn production. All right. I think my other city is going to be over here. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing any special terrain other than this iron ore. Which, don't get me wrong, the iron ore is not bad. Uh, actually, this area is not as bad as I thought. Yeah, just built there. Yeah, that'll work. I need to remember that the mouse buttons are inverted compared to what I'm used to. So it's left click to move and right click to select. Or reposition the screen. Uh, a few archangels is definitely not something I can fight. Oh, um, the other thing is that I need to realize that I can fight things a little differently than before. Because certain enemies are nowhere near as nasty as they were. Okay, I've searched my island basically. Unless if there's a connection here, but I don't think there is. Mirandale is now a hamlet. Yeah, so I still should go with housing for a bit. There's a few edge cases where I wouldn't want to do housing, but that's not one of them. Can I turn you? No. Just gonna have excess food. All right, now that we have that, we are building slingers. Slingers are definitely the best melee unit, or melee. Best unit that halflings can produce for a long time. You are going to share one tile that's acceptable. Your name is Hickorydale. Hickorydale. Oh, it actually is an FMS. Well, there you go. Patrol. Next. Oh, I should start probably cast Holy Weapon as well. Skeletons. I should be able to fight skeletons, especially with Holy Weapon. But I'm going to not do it this turn. I want Holy Armor as well. 
A few chaos bonds, no. There is the first of those. I'm going to be building multiples. Negative one food. You are now making food. Oh, um, I had mentioned before that I was trying to trim this where I would have exactly enough because there's no overflow in Master of Magic. There is in Caster of Magic. So I'm not going to try to trim down my food as much as I did before. Or trim down my production. Increase food. Whatever. Just see what's around because I'm going to have a couple of turns to waste. Next one of the slingers are going to stay in town. Do I want to wait another three turns for heroism? They're healed, so no. I'm going to start casting it, but I'm not going to wait for it. I'm going to try to take out the skeletons now while I can. Maybe there'll be fewer of them. It's just a few. Four I think I can take. Oh, crap. There's an invisible stalker. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, I can't take on an invisible stalker. On the plus side, the game is actually smart in, hey, look, there's an invisible unit here, so we're not going to tell you that you see invisible units. Unless if you have a unit that scouts that area that has the ability to see through illusions, if I remember right. Okay. Okay. You're just going to go down there now. Ooh, Serena the Healer. Um, so something I should mention, in Base Master of Magic, any caster that has offensive magic like this would actually be using their own MP to cast, uh, to cast those attack spells. That is not the case in this game. In this game, it doesn't use MP to actually use that. So... This magical attack is actually good for its six attacks, which is great. Uh, this particular character is a lower level character, Serena. Uh, she has arcane power, which means that her magic attack is going to increase every level. Normally, they wouldn't, so that's really nice. She's also a 20 MP caster, she has the healing spell, and she herself is a healer, which means that she can use as an action in combat to heal the target unit, and also as an action outside of combat. Or, it's not an action, it's... Just, you're going to heal faster outside of combat. Heal the stack. She can use a sword or a staff, which is a nice combination. And she can use a shield. Yes, we are going to be hiring Serena. She immediately levels up because we're a warlord. Uh, yep, this is going to be a good plan. That's not... Oh yeah, I guess you didn't really have a choice. We're going to wait a couple of turns. Oh, I just noticed that my thing was better. We are going to heroism up that slinger. We're going to be doing that a lot, by the way. In fact, I'm just going to start casting it again right now. How are you doing? You have four population. That's good. You're going to build a granary. New spell complete. We have enchant item, which we actually have a hero that could use items, which is good. We're going to research that. Hickory Dale is now an outpost. Good. You're going to keep on housing for a bit. Right. You're going to patrol there. And I'm going to change you to work on other things. So the Builder's Hall is really only meant to be able to build those buildings. In base Master of Magic, you have to build a Builder's Hall to build pretty much anything. Uh, in this case, you only have to build the Builder's Hall to build the more advanced buildings. So I was getting a little thrown off by that. I'm going to build a shrine so I can hopefully reduce unrest. Because I have an unrest problem. It's just that I'm accepting lower taxes instead. 
Okay. With this group, I might actually be able to take an Invisible Stalker. Time to find out. Oh, um, other things. Range attacks. So I was trying to make sure I was within two to three tiles before. They changed the algorithm. So instead of it being for every three tiles away you are from the enemy, or from being more than three tiles away, you lose one hit bonus. It's actually for every four tiles now. So being four tiles away, as I am right now, this is the maximum hit bonus. I missed. That's not a good sign. This is going really. We're going to have a holy weapon. That was not the one I needed to have a holy weapon. Hello, Invisible Stalker. Uh, ranged units cannot, in fact, attack Invisible Stalkers. Okay. Why am I doing so terribly on spells? Or on ranged attacks? Okay. Oh, there's multiple. That's a problem. Why am I missing? They have missiles immunity. This is what I get for not paying attention. And they have weapon immunity. Cool. Reload. I actually survived. Maybe I won't reload. Slingers, you are also a hero now. Congratulations. Yeah, you notice that he healed up quite a bit more. He, she, they. They healed up quite a bit more than before. Uh, that was Chaos Spawn, yeah. I am down one food. Oh yeah, I have shaman now. Shaman are also useful because healing. Healing is good. are going to build city walls. So city walls is something special in Master of Magic. Namely, if you have city walls, you are immune to regular attacks. And the reason being is that they can't go over the walls. They have to have something that allows them to bust through the walls, either by using magic or by throwing giant rocks at you, a la catapults. This area is pretty big, actually. Brax the Dwarf! So this is a melee unit character, which is not the greatest thing in the world for us. Uh, the reason being that there's no magic, there's no ranged attack, it's just melee. Uh, they have Arms Master plus two, which means that they start giving XP to every unit inside of, and that's stacked with the hero, which is not bad. Um, Constitution plus one, which means that they add plus one defense every level, which means they're going to be an utter tank. They're also a mountaineer, which allows them to move through mountains at regular speed. Um, normally I would not hire this hero. This is one of the worst heroes in the game in my mind. At the same time, we're desperate for heroes. Welcome to the party, Brax. I can always kill you later. I may kill you in the morning. All right. Um... Go ahead and granary up. Population's getting a little high. A doom bat? Brax, just get down here for now. I'm pretty sure a doom bat is doom for us, but I want to check. 
know what? I will reload that. Still having problems with movement. Oh yeah, there's chaos bonds as well. Oh hey, look! They move fa fast enough where they just devour everybody. So they have scouting one, so they can see further. They have immolation, which means that whenever they are um, attacking or being attacked in melee with a unit, they immediately hit them with a 10 strength magic attack. Um, it also burns away web, which is nice. And they also have doom, which is as long as they, yeah, they will always deal their maximum damage. Doom is ridiculous. That's the reason why they just got devoured. Yeah, no, we're not fighting the Doom Bats. Oops. I keep forgetting about that. Dang it. All right, you've got a granary. Time for you to build a marketplace because we need more money because we keep hiring expensive heroes. Done. You're going to move through the mountains. And eventually, after I'm done exploring the continent, I'm going to bring these heroes back up and try to take out a node. Because I really need a node. Nodes give me mana. I need mana badly. You're going to research Summoning Circle. Summoning Circles are free in this game to cast. But in Base Master of Magic, you also have the ability to like teleport heroes to a Summoning Circle which is how you primarily move them around continents, they remove that ability in this game. So we're not going to be able to teleport Jack or Squat. Which sucks. Um, yeah. Go to the library. What are you? Gorgons. Gorgons are different than they were before. So this is actually a new sprite. Oh, and giant spiders. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> so Gorgons have the ability to stone things, but in Base Master of Magic, Gorgons were not this unit at all. They were flying cows. So they were a flying stoning unit, and they're scary. They're really scary. So I'm still going to do that, and then I'll be done for the turn. What's your population? You're at four. You can now start building things. I want you to build a sawmill, because that increases production by quite a bit. In fact, you should also build a sawmill. And I did figure out how queuing works. Um... <sighs> a few werewolves. I do actually have the correct weaponry for werewolves now. Although I should probably cast Holy Weapon a few more times first. Hmm. Alchemist's Guild doesn't actually do me any good. Magic Market will get me more power. That's a good idea. Right, we're just going to merge groups. And we are also going to start casting Holy... We don't have Holy Armor on anybody either. That's not a bad idea, especially on Brax. He's probably going to get biffed in the face a lot. What's in you? Many angels. How about no? What's in you? Cockatrices. No. It would be nice if I could actually say yes to some of these. Um, I probably need more units. Uh, what I'm planning on doing is building this wizard's guild and pumping out magicians. Uh, magicians are actually what I was aiming for because... Uh, so in base master of magic, you can take one stack of doom, say nine slingers... And they could probably go conquer an AI. You can't do that in this. You have to have diverse armies. They specifically tell you that. Because some units will have really crappy magic resistance. Some units have really good magic resistance, but crappy defense. 
That was not the case in the base game. And I do kind of like the idea of them rebalancing that some. I was just not expecting it. I'm out of MP. Maybe that was not the greatest of plans. What's in you? Stone Giant. Oops. Damn it, I keep doing that. I have finished researching Summoning Circle! Research Bless, because it's the cheapest one. You're not moving. Let's see if we can take this. That's more than a few werewolves. I guess four is a few still. I do have magic weapons. Yep, they do in fact work. Good. Movement's three, right? Yeah. One, two, three. Nope, I am not moving. I just received an email. Apologize for the notification you probably just heard. my other units. can I do with you? I can star fires, so I'm gonna get rid of some of those skelly bros. Not as many as I was hoping I would, but you know. Slingers, you're not actually useful against those skeletons. So take care of the werewolves, please. Hooray! Success! And Serena leveled up. She's now a captain. And we found a wand. Plus two attack, plus two defense, plus ten spell skill, and the ability to use fairy dust once per combat. That sounds great to be on, Serena. Fairy dust is a nature spell. I discovered this when I did my nature run. It's not very good at next spell, but it's better than nothing. Hey, we're doing way better this time than I did in the previous game. Holy crap, I'm actually conquering things. <laughs> I eventually, at the end of my last run, conquered one node. That was the only thing I conquered the entire time. Got a guardian spirit there, started harvesting the node, and then an AI backstabbed me and took over two of my cities in one turn. So cool. Um, we don't want that. Let's start getting you up to start building units as well. Actually, no. Let's go ahead and go with the Forester's Guild first. You do have a sawmill? Yes, you don't have a miner's guild, though. Never mind. Miner's guild. You have a sawmill, though. That's good. You're going to start building a granary so we get more population. <laughs> yeah, that actually worked really well. Neat. So the reason why we're doing so crummy on mana is that we're spending a huge amount of mana. Uh, I believe it shows it somewhere. Where is it? Is it under armies? Upkeep. Yeah, we're using three mana for upkeep right now. Three mana, three food, and 11 money. Looks like I've mostly finished the continent. Nope, probably wraps around a bit more. All right, we've got a food situation. You're the one that could afford food. So what's going to eventually happen with... Ooh, 
Why, hello there, halberdiers. That means there's a city down there. What's going to eventually happen with our food production places is that they're going to just switch to all food, so none of the other cities need to worry about food. Um, maybe not all of them, because it's nice to have slingers. Alright, we've got Halberdiers. Halberdiers, their main ability is that they negate First Strike, which is that if it, you have a unit with First Strike, which a lot of upper level units have, these guys go, yeah, no, we don't care, we're still hitting you anyway. They also have a lot of units. There are six unit, or six figure things with relatively high attack and defense. They're actually fairly nice units. You know what else is fairly nice? Slingers. Taken care of. See, this is the way the game's supposed to be played. Apparently, I should have just started on normal instead of fair. I still have yet to even meet another AI this time. Which is interesting. And abnormal. Well, oh, I just met another AI. Who are you? Jafar again? Really? How about I give you tribute of some money? Not enough. You're still on ease. Here's your introduction. Shudder. Soon all known planes shall fall to the might of my powerful magic. Oh yeah, I forgot to actually check out their spell picks and so on. I need to do that. Um, yeah, it's time for you to start doing the fighter's guild. That actually is the end of the continent. Cool. So they're probably just on a different continent. Uh, Warlord. Maniacal for personality. So they hate everybody. Uh, piece of crap. I'm going to have to conquer them. They don't have any heroes, though. And I have two. Yeah, yeah, your floating island, blah, 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 blah. Is there anybody else in there? Oh, there's settlers in there. Great. I should probably start settler spamming. I will queue up settlers. Queue. I want to make sure that it actually loops over like it's supposed to. We have finished researching Bless, though. True sight. Thank you. Yep, okay. Good. That's the way it's supposed to work. And you have a whole bunch of Halberdiers. Also, it's a Clacken city. Should have noticed that the Halberdiers were Clackens. Just clacking around. Waka, waka, waka. Uh, 16's the highest. 15 over here. That's coal, which drops unit costs. That's gold, which gives me money. That's just swamp. That's not actually... Uh, Nightshade. Anything better? I mean, having that high of a production bonus is nice, don't get me wrong. But I think here is going to be my best bet. Okay. And throwing 
that. Let's see if we can get our tax collector up again. What's that look like? No unrest. One unrest. Although they're working on the shrine. One unrest. They're not working on a shrine. Change them over to a shrine. And this isn't as big of a deal. And that gives us a significant amount more money. So let's do that. Uh, we should conquer this place and trash it. <laughs> because Clacken. They have the maximum number of units. Uh, this might suck. I don't have any area of effect abilities. What do I have that might help? Not a whole bunch. Holy weapon is about it. So I'm going to save my magic for healing. You, on the other hand, have new things. You have fairy dust, which fairy dust does um, a... It's basically a weakened version of a fireball spell. That did not do much. They have high resistance. Yep, they're all going after my heroes. Luckily, she cannot run them. Healer spell? Can you have something else? No, you don't. Um, you can cast a whole heck of a lot of holy weapon, though. Okay, which ones of these have holy weapon? You do not. You do not. You're the only one with holy weapon? Yep. Okay. Well, might as well. Holy weapon? That's Slinger. You die. You die. Now you die? Oh crap, I just lost Brax. Oh well. <laughs> Heal oh, I need to move back first, don't I? No, I don't. I'm actually not in range. Healer. Heal. Swordsman. Swordsman. You're not in a great spot, so I'm going to also heal you. I'm not going to be too worried about Brax. Raise the damn city. Three fame gained. 181 gold pieces. Serena leveled up. We lost Brax, though. That'll be fine. Uh, I can eventually learn Raise Dead and or um, Resurrection. Revive him that way, I guess. Is that worth it? Yeah, I'm just going for it. I'm trying not to use Chronomancy. And that was my own decision. We're almost at an hour at this point. Uh. Hmm. What do I want to build here? Right, I was going to work on Fighter's Guild. I just needed the shrine so I would stop having revolts constantly. Oh, yeah. Damn it, I did it again. Oh, yeah. So what roads do? I did look this up. So regular roads no longer give a movement bonus. They instead ignore terrain. 
So, like, going through this forest only cost me one movement point instead of two. Um, forests in Mirror, so Enchanted Roads, um, are the half-movement point version. Uh, that was apparently done for reasons that I don't understand. Okay, we're going to go ahead and stop this here. This is so far much better than before. And I hope you've enjoyed this, Internet. Talk to you next time. Bye!